guys and welcome to my cooking channel. My name is Sonia for those of you stopping by for the very first time. Today I will be sharing two recipes, a meal, a dinner recipe and a dessert recipe. Today is a very special video as well because it is part of a collaboration called Recipe Swap, collaboration that is hosted by Sarah's Realm and she had asked us um, to swap recipes with other youtubers she had picked up uh, picked out the youtubers for us and i am swapping my recipe with ashley at home and i will have both of their channels linked in the description box as well as the recipes that i am using for today so without further ado let's get started so the ingredients that you will need is some uh, chicken thighs with skin on now unfortunately I thought I had some but I didn't so I'm just using ones without the skin but with the skin will definitely give you a bit more flavor um, in the whole dish then you need some I have some salt and some pepper I you need some broth I am using my homemade broth fresh thyme sun-dried tomatoes, some cream, garlic, red pepper flakes, and parmesan, and a little bit of basil just for serving. So I am preheating my oil actually, uh, in my oven, and I'm also going to turn on my pasta pot to heat up now that's not part of the recipe but it will be part of my dish and then I will have a pot in the back to thaw out my broth so I'm gonna get that started I'm going to salt my chicken generously I just added some pepper and you want to use um, a Dutch oven or a skillet that is uh, oven safe so that way you can just use the one pot for your whole dish so I'm going to put the salted and the pepper side down salt and pepper side down I'm going to cook it in two batches so that way it doesn't get too watery and now since my salt and pepper side is down I will add more salt and pepper to this side and I'm going to cook this about five minutes per side but it's gonna go back in the oven and because there wasn't skin there's not a lot of fat here so I'm just going to leave that as is I have turned on the heat already and I'm going to add garlic and I'm just going to press it bit more olive oil and I'm going to add some fresh thyme Add my broth. 
Pepper flakes. Sun-dried tomatoes. Parmesan. A little bit more salt. And I'm just going to bring it to a simmer. So it is simmering now. I'm going to return the chicken in. Now it's gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes. My chicken is done and I'm just going to add a little bit of basil to garnish it and I'm waiting for my pasta to finish and uh, some zucchini that I have roasting in the oven to go with it. This chicken was absolutely delicious and it's definitely going into my monthly menu rotation. So for the dessert, I'm making strawberry pretzel salad and for the first part, I'm going to make a topping because it needs to go in the fridge for almost two hours before I can move on. So I have brought two cups of water to boil and I am um, using the Jello for serving in strawberry. And I'm going to add it into two cups of boiling water. Now it's asking to add, um, the recipe says to add two boxes, 16 ounce is each of frozen strawberries the sweetened frozen strawberries now I have never seen sweetened frozen strawberries here in Canada so I had just picked up strawberries sliced frozen and 16 ounces it's two cups so I need four cups all together that's about it and I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to it because they're not sweetened and I'm going to add this into my gelatin and I'm going to add this put this in a fridge for about hour and 45 minutes for the crust I want to show you guys I it needs two cups of crushed pretzels So that's about a cup. And I'm using my meat tenderizer with the flat side. right about there two cups so I need three tablespoons of sugar and I'm 
going to add three quarters of a cup of melted butter and mix it up. So it's us to press it into a 13 by 9 inch baking dish, ungreased. And I'm going to put it in the oven to bake for 10 minutes at 350. So I had pulled it out and cooled it off. It's cool now and I'm going to prepare the filling. And it needs a package of cream cheese. about 250 mils of Cool uh, Whip or 8, ounce, eight ounces. I'm going to add it to here. And now I'm going to set, put, top this up with my strawberry gelatin topping. There, and I'm going to put it back in the fridge for overnight and we'll have it tomorrow. I think this would be a great dessert for Valentine's Day. This dessert was so easy to make and tasted so fresh and delicious and my kids absolutely loved it. So don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time stopping by and I would like to thank Sarah for hosting this challenge, uh, this col collaboration I mean and I have will have the playlist linked in the description box so make sure you check it out. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.